हेलो एंड वेलकम टू डॉक्टर अनिमा उपाध्याय यूट्यूब चैनल इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट द नैनो क्रिस्टल्स एंड नैनो क्लस्टर्स अंडर नैनो मटीरियल्स विच इज ऑफकोर्स अ टॉपिक ऑफ नैनो टेक्नोलॉजी बट बिफोर आई स्टार्ट टूडेज वीडियो I would like you to please subscribe to my channel if you have not done it so far, and to also share this video among all your friends and colleagues. I will start with nano crystals, followed by nano clusters in the second half of the lecture. What are nano crystals? Are nano crystals also called quantum dots? Yes. Nano crystals are also known as quantum dots. They are crystalline particles with at least one dimension measuring less than hundred nanometers. They are composed of atoms in either a single or polycrystalline arrangement, with surrounding interfacial layer, which is an integral part of nano scale matter. Here in the figure, you can see the yellow silicon nano crystal. within the blue cyclohexane shell give some examples of nano crystals the important examples of nano crystals are silicon nano crystals cadmium telluride nano crystals cadmium selenide nano crystals zinc sulfide nano crystals zeolite and iron platinum nano crystals how are nano crystals synthesized they are synthesized by physical and gas condensation methods either by using top down or bottom up approaches state some important applications of nano crystals the important applications include they use in filtration and refining of crude oil as zeolite nano crystals in solar panels and photovoltaic cells as cadmium telluride nano crystals as fluorescent tags For example, cadmium selenide and zinc sulfide nano crystals are used. They are used as super magnets. Iron platinum nano crystals are the examples of super magnets. They are used in optical and infrared lasers and in illumination. They are used to remove toxins and pollutants. They are used in protein analysis as catalysts and as catalyst support. they used as self organized smart materials the cobalt platinum crystals are used as mri contrast agent and in other genetic applications the nano crystals of iron oxide and gold are used in cancer therapy name the techniques often used for the synthesis of nano crystals the coprecipitation thermal decomposition microemulsion and flame spray are generally used methods to synthesize nano crystals does the properties of nano crystals different from their bulk counterparts yes they are different from their bulk counterparts the properties of nano crystals such as melting point optical and magnetic properties as well as specific heat they all change drastically from their bulk counterparts what is the difference between nano particle and nano crystals the nano crystals are composed of one domain with a finely distributed size and have a distinctive unvarying shape on the other hand nano particles can have either an amorphous structure or a crystalline structure which includes either polycrystalline phase or single domains are quantum dots and nano dots same quantum dots are a specific type of nano dots with unique semiconductor properties whereas the nano dots encompasses all types of nano scale structures and particles so quantum dots are nano dots but nano dots may not be quantum dots now we will talk about the nano clusters 
So what are nanoclusters? The nanoclusters have at least one dimension between 1 and 10 nanometer and a narrow size distribution. They are composed of either a single or of multiple elements measuring less than 2 nanometers. Thus, nanocluster acts as a molecule or as a plasmon. Nanoclusters behaves as a molecule and not as a plasmon. Nanoclusters acts as a bridge between atoms and nanoparticles. Give some examples of nanoclusters that are synthesized for various industrial uses. Nanoclusters of silver, gold, vanadium, rhodium and manganese are synthesized for various industrial applications as they possess very good properties different from their bulk counterparts. Explain with examples how properties of nanoclusters different from their bulk materials. So with the help of examples, I will explain to you how the properties of nanoclusters are different from their bulk materials. We will start with the nanoclusters of vanadium and rhodium which shows ferromagnetic behavior whereas at bulk level they show paramagnetic behavior. Similarly, manganese at nanocluster level becomes ferromagnetic which does not show magnetism at all at bulk level. The nanoclusters of gold becomes highly reactive at nanoscale and are used as excellent catalysts whereas we all know that bulk gold is inert and non-reactive. The optical properties of nanoclusters of gold, zinc and silicon are also different at their bulk level and nano levels which makes them very important in industries. State the importance of nanoclusters based on its properties and applications. Magnetic, catalytic and optical are some of the important properties that are extremely useful and finds applications in various industries, medicine, environment and metallurgy. Name the methods or techniques for the synthesis of nanoclusters. The various methods or techniques used for the synthesis of nanoclusters include molecular beam technique under vacuum, seeded supersonic nozzles, gas aggregation methods, laser vaporization, ion sputtering, liquid iron metal, reduction methods which include chemical, electrochemical and photo reduction methods. State the important applications of nanoclusters. The nanoclusters are used as catalysts, sensors, biological markers, switches and transducers. They are used in telecommunications, microelectronics, optical data storage. They are used for detection of biomolecules such as proteins, DNA and RNA. They find optical applications in fluorescence, bioimaging and cellular labeling. Their excellent magnetic applications are used in various fields of research and technology. Are the properties of nanoclusters same as their bulk counterpart? No, they are different from their bulk counterparts. We have already discussed about it with the help of many examples. How are nanoclusters different from nanoparticles? The nanoclusters are composed of up to 100 atoms. The bigger ones containing 1000 or more are called nanoparticles. Write short notes on nanocrystals and nanoclusters. So with the help of this video lecture on nanocrystals and nanoclusters, you can easily write taking into consideration 
their definitions explained in the video, methods of their preparation, properties, applications and examples given here in the lecture. What is plasmon? Because I have used this term plasmon under nano clusters. So plasmon is a quasi particle which arises from the quantization of plasma oscillations. It is similar to photons of light and phonons of mechanical vibrations which arises due to quantization. I have tried to cover very important points on nanocrystals and nanoclusters. I think you have understood it well. Keep watching for more such videos on nanomaterials which I will be uploading in near future. Thank you.